Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Recently I've been getting comments on my uh, video about the shulker box and loading system, and I kind of thought that, like, I did do make that video a while ago, but it, like, it could have been better. So that's what I did here, is I redesigned the original system to be one block more compact and actually work a little bit faster. It works the exact same as the other system did, where it can process on or like with shulker boxes with no items in it. So if I show you here, I have a shulker box full of sand or with some sandstone in it, and here I have the one with the sandstone. This one's an empty box. If I put that one in, it gets dispensed, sucks all the items out. It does take a while because I only have two minecarts under there. And then as you can see, empty shulker box ends up there. And then if I put the empty shulker box in, it just gets broken immediately. Two shulker boxes in here. And all of the sandstone ends up down here at the bottom. So now time for a quick tutorial. So uh, what I recommend here is to make a setup like this where you can have like your chest and stuff down here. And then you could have this for your output for wherever you want. Or you could have these six hoppers. You can do whatever you want for here. But this is just what I would recommend doing. You don't even need this lower part. It's just for extra speed. You could just have all these hop hopper minecarts sitting on top of a normal hopper of speed isn't really your thing but this entire system is built for being fast and small so that's what I'm going for so what I or what you need to do is place down a rail place down a minecart push it off to the side place another minecart and then place your third minecart if you want and then it should slide off to one side where you can place your fourth minecart you can only do two if you'd like but I would recommend using four and also, uh, something I forgot to mention, it is vitally important that you make sure that the hopper that sucks up your shulker boxes is facing, like, towards here, so where this iron bar is. This direction is where the uh, shulker box is going to be picked up. That is very, very important, because otherwise the hopper minecarts will pick up from the hopper, and you don't really want that. And so to prevent that from happening, but still have it lined up, what you need to do to get these minecarts into place is that you need to place an iron bar over here and then push it over with a piston. You can try pushing it over manually, but I can't really, I haven't really been able to get that to work reasonably. And also, if there's only two minecarts in here, you can just push it over with nothing being done. And you can use a solid block here. I'm only using a glass block, so uh, the if you use a solid block, these will have a lighting glitch where they'll just turn all black. But I'm just using glass to make it look a little bit nicer. This can be a solid block if you want. It doesn't really matter. So all you need to do is just push a block in place from above with a piston. What you need to do here is that on this iron bar, place a piston. Above it, place a transparent block. It has to be transparent. It could be like a slab or glowstone or glass. A, any transparent block uh, on the side here a repeater set to two ticks and then right here a redstone torch make sure that the piston gets powered from this and we will be using that a little bit later but this is just to make sure the minecarts are lined up properly now so what you need to do is place an activator rail here it very important has to be an activator rail for some of its properties that it does and place down one minecart push it off to the side, and a way to get this to work reliably without having to do some uh, glitchy stuff with pushing minecarts around and hoping that it gets in the right position, I recommend just dropping all the minecarts in from the top once this is done. So then uh, place a setup like this, push a minecart over onto a, an iron bar, break it, and then it snaps down to the rail down there. And then you can do the same thing for the middle, where you just place two minecarts on a single rail, drop it down, that snaps into place just like that, and make sure you don't touch this because this configuration of minecarts does get a little weird. Now it's time for the system itself. So a block goes here with a comparator on it, uh, a solid block goes here, an observer goes like this, so the face is facing away from the minecarts and the dots right here. Solid block, this is very important, so it actually powers the activator rail. A normal piston here to break the shulker box. On top, 
of it, just place a temporary block and then a dispenser facing downwards. Then for compactness sake, I'm using a target block here. Uh, you can just run a piece of redstone dust on top of a normal block to get it to work if space isn't really an issue height wise, but if you want it the most compact it can get, uh, you can use a target block there. A comparator here on subtract mode, that is very important. A block facing on the end of the comparator, redstone dust, and two observers facing into the torch and then facing into the other observer. A solid block over here, a block right here, and then a transparent block, very important that it's transparent here. Redstone dust and a repeater set to three ticks. And that should be your, oh, and then here is where the hopper goes for your thing. It could be however long you want, just going somewhere where you want the shulker boxes to be processed. So I am taking the shulker box here, full of the stacks of blocks. As you can see, it's draining out very fast. Empty shulker box ends up here. And those are the activator rails from earlier. All the items are flooding into here. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a quick, short one and an update on the other thing. So I hope that you enjoyed watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.